Hmm, I have no idea what to use as an intro. Pokemon Ranger, I choose you! What's up, mighty boys and girls? It's your Ranger Boy here, and welcome to my possibly shortest review of Pokemon the Anime 2019. This week's episode, aka episode 15, Snow Day, where is Cubone's bone? Is just a slice of life episode about Go, his family, his past and present relationship with said family, followed up by a scene of Go trying to help a Cubone who got bullied by some random monkey to find back his lost bone. Go then catches Cubone, Go gives present to his parents, and that's it. No, seriously, that's it. Um. My impressions, I guess? I'm sorry if I might sound really rude, and I also once again have to mention that I really, really like Go. But man, this episode was kinda boring. The only thing you have to know about this episode are two things. First, Go caught a Cubone, because you know, more Gen 1. And secondly, his relationship with his parents, which can be summed up like this. It's a pretty normal relationship. On the one hand, we find out that his parents in both past and present time, you know, they, they work a lot and therefore they feel bad that they can't spend more time with Go, and therefore they also were worried that Go wouldn't make any friends. While on the other hand, Go, despite feeling somewhat lonely thanks to his parents being busy with their job, understands them and also knows how important their job is, and as a result of that he spent more time with researching Mew. And that's it. This episode once again proves what Sailor Moon already proved several times. Slice of life and Pokemon doesn't work. It sometimes works, but for the majority it just isn't really exciting. Um, well, that's it guys. If you don't mind guys, can we talk about last week's episode? Because I really need to talk about something exciting after watching that snooze fest that was this week's adventure. Last week's episode was so much more exciting. Ash and Go traveling to the Onova region, entering some old desert ruins, overcoming several traps on their way, and at the end of the ruins, they encounter an abnormally huge Golurk, and because of its immense power, together with the researchers and the geeky shiny hunter, take on that giant Pokemon in a raid battle. Doesn't this story sound so much better? And for the most part, this episode was actually really enjoyable. I liked most of the comedic elements during the trap scenes and the raid battle overall was great. Especially Ash's Dragonite having his very first battle and his teamwork with Go's newly obtained Darmanitan. Also once again special shout out to the music, because in all honesty the music really made every scene even so much more epic. Especially that one scene where Golur got resurrected. Sadly, there was also a lot, and I mean a lot of cringe in this episode. Some of the comedy, in my opinion, were really unnecessary. Like, for example, the leader of the research team behaving like a cute kawaii girl. All the time. Because. And all of that not only kinda gave me some Sun and Moon flashbacks, but also reminded me why Sun and Moon wasn't really my cup of tea to begin with. Another thing which gave me flashbacks, but in a different kind of way, was the shiny hunter. Loud and flamboyant, a lot like Silen, but with the twist that Silen was actually a really good battler, unlike this guy who only cared about catching shiny Pokemon. Only caring about catching Pokemon, doesn't that sound familiar? But hey, at least in this episode he was great. Last but least, let's talk about Ash. The first scene of cringe was when Ash's Pikachu attacked a wild sand dial with Thunderbolt. First of all, since Ash has a crocodile, Pikachu should know by now that electric attacks won't work against that Pokemon. And not only that, but something very similar happened in the beginning of the Black and White series with Ash trying to attack Sandal with Thunderbolt. But long, Ash back then didn't know that Sandal was ground type, and in this episode he correctly pointed out that Pikachu's electric attacks won't work against Sandile. So our Alolan champ did learn from his experience. Or did he? Because during the beginning of the raid battle, Ash attacks Golurk with Thunderbolt. And that right there is so unironically funny, because Ash should know by now that Golurk is a ground type. Because just a few months ago, not years ago, but months ago, in Sun and Moon, Ash took on Harpoo's Golurk with Pikachu as well, while also knowing that electric type moves won't work against that Pokemon. But no matter if it's against Harpoo's Golurk or a random Golurk, the result is the same. Pikachu got destroyed by Golurk once again. But because I love Ash, I somewhat have to defend him here. I guess he acted before thinking. And yes, that's why we love Ash, because he prefers action before logic. But just like against Harpoo's Pokemon back then, this just makes Ash and Pikachu look so bad. I mean, 
really bad. This right here could be one of those scenes that casual fans pick out of context and say, hey look, even after being a champ, he still is a noob. And honestly, I really hate that. Ash is a great battler and he deserved that Alolan title. But can the anime just please stop displaying our boy like that? Oh, I mean, I kind of knew that Golik was ground type, but I guess I messed up. Oopsie. Please, Gen 8 anime. For the love of God, never do it again. Anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this short video. And just like always, I see you guys in the comments down below. Bye, guys.